Hey guys, welcome to Power BI lesson number 7. This lesson is gonna be a little bit different because today is my birthday. So I cannot be lie with you, but I'm gonna give you a very nice gift, which is the recording of a class from the Power BI experience course. And this class is from the DAX Advanced module. So we're gonna solve a very nice problem using table functions, okay? Hey guys, welcome to the last task of this mission. And this is a very nice one, because we're gonna use some table manipulation functions and also we're gonna review set theory from math. Who in here remembers set theory during school? <laughs> very nice, okay? Let's see. So, something very important to HPN is cross-selling. Um, this is the case of BCAA, um, this product, okay? combined with whey protein. And these products are, they always need to sell, to be sold together, okay? So, for example, it's very important for the salesperson to sell BCAA together with whey protein. So, whenever I sell whey protein, I have to sell BCAA together, all right? Those 35, 35 orders that did not Happened this that I don't uh, that I didn't sell BCAA together with whey protein. This salesperson made uh, did not sell correctly. Did not sell correctly. Okay, so I have to compute from every every order that I sold whey protein. How many of them did not have BCAA? All right. So let's go to Power BI. First, let's do, let's do, uh, let's separate it, let's split this problem. Let's first compute how many, prod, how many orders had whey protein, okay? Let's do this in a new measure, new measure, and let's do the following. Um, orders with whey protein. We know how to do that, right? Calculate, calculate, distinct count of order number, okay? And then we apply a filter on the subcategory name equals to, then we have to write the same way, whey protein. I love whey protein, <laughs> whey protein. There you go, let's see, let's, Put it there, and like this, 90 orders. Let me see if there's any filter being applied in here. No, I think not. Let me see, yeah, no, there isn't. All right, now, let's see how many orders did not have BCAA. Okay, we're not gonna mix right now. So let's do the following. Let's do this, and another measure, new measure, or the opposite. Let's see how many orders have had, had BCAA, with BCAA. So we have here BCAA, like that. Mm -hmm. Let's put in another card. Mm. Oh, sorry. Orders with only this, BCA. Let's replace this one. 63, correct. Okay, so I have 90 orders with whey protein and 63 orders with BCAA. There are some orders that do not have both, correctly. So I can see here, just by looking to these two numbers, that I have at least 27, 27 orders without BCA, or 27 orders that have whey protein and don't have BCA, at least. Why at least? Because some orders can have only BCA. So there's no way to, to, to know the intersection of these two numbers. 
of these two tables, or two sets, right? Just by looking to the numbers, I cannot see the intersection between them. So we must use tables instead of measures, of numbers. We have to manipulate tables. Let's do the following. How can I create this very same number here, the very same number, but using table manipulation instead of just a calculate? Other, in other words, I want to create first a table with those 63 orders and then do a count rows of this table. How can I create this table with those 63 orders? 63 orders. Like this. I'm going to do the following. I'm going to create here a variable called orders. Sorry. Um, var variables, orders. And then I can use calculate table, calculate table to get the values of the order number and apply this filter to the calculate table. Calculate table is a function that do the same thing as calculate, but in tables instead of measures. So see here, what do I have? What do I have in this in this variable? I have all orders, a table with 63, ro 63 rows, because I am applying a filter there. If now I return a count rows of these orders. I'm going to have the same number, but I calculate it in a different way, using calculate table, and then count rows. See, not going to change. All right. Now, this is the fun part. Let me go, let me create now, inside the same, inside the same measure, okay, inside the same measure, I'm going to call this actually orders BCAA. And I'm going to copy all of this, home, control V, and BCAA. And here, whey protein, whey protein. And this is going to be whey protein, whey protein. So I have here two variables, in each of these two variables, a table, a set, okay? What can I do with two sets, with two tables? In math, I can, I can find the intersection, I can find the exception, I can union them, I can do a lot of things, right? Just let me count this to see if I, I'm going to get 90, just to make sure it's, it's working. It should change to 90 right now. There you go. Nice. Let's change now to the following. I want to say orders with BCAA and we're going to change a little bit the problem. And whey protein, both. We, we must, uh, I must have both products in the same order. So let's do this and whey protein. How can I do this? Making an intersection between, between these two sets. How can I do this? Here I have in the Dax language a very nice function called intersect that makes this intersection. Variable v intersect, or result, okay? So I don't need to change this text later. Result, intersect between those two tables, okay? It doesn't matter the, the order for this one. Mm, BCAA and whey protein. This intersection gives me a table just with the intersection for those two sets, for those two tables. If I count the number of rows to this table, I'm going to get orders that had both products, 55. So remember, I have 90 orders with whey protein, and 55 of those have also BCAA. How can I, how can I know now, how, what function can I use to see the exception of those two tables, or what I have in one table and don't have in another table. I can use the except function. Here the except, and then in except the order matters. 
because I'm going to take a reference, the left table is, is my reference. Okay, so if I want to see how many orders I have whey protein and don't have BCAA, I should change this order. Whey protein there, and then here, BCAA. Oops, my, I just misspelled here, this one. And now the, and now the title of my measure is going to change. With whey protein, without, let me do this way to make it a little bit smaller. With whey protein, without BC. Okay, enter. I change to accept. I'm going to draw it there. It's going to be easier to understand later. 35, there you go. 35, that's what I get in the total. All right. Let me get rid of this. Now, let me put this way. I'm going to use that matrix that I have in my solution. This one. This. Customer, 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 month on the axis, month short, there you go, and items, orders, yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Make smaller. There you go, this is our solution, all right? So these are all orders that I have had whey protein and didn't have BCAA. Let me save this and I'm going to show you in my board this difference, okay? There's different functions. Let's try to understand better in here. Okay, so here I have this page. Okay, so I have these two sets. The red one is for all orders with whey protein. And the black, all orders with BCAA. All right? So, when I have these two sets and I want to see the intersection, I use the intersect function. And it, it will give me the, this area here. Right? This area. So this is the intersect. Intersect. All right. Now, if I want to see the exception, then I must know which from exception from who to whom, from where to where, because I can have either this area, right, this area, or this area, and then. The order in my accept function matters. So let me write it here. Except. The except. If I use first BCA and then later whey protein, I will get this area. On the other hand, if I use first this and then this, I will get that area. What we just did was except of this from this. So, something like this. Except of whey protein over BCAA. Okay, so this is our function, except I used those two sets and I got 35 here. These are all orders with whey protein without BCAA. Let's do the other the other calculations to get this and that. Let me just remove this here. Oops, I cannot do this. Sorry. Oh, okay, let's do like this. Let's find out this one and this one. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna change my functions in there. Where is it? If I change this order, 
Okay, first BCAA, and then later this. I'm not gonna worry about the title, the name of the measure, just the number. Let's see here the number. Oops, eight, eight. Let me draw there. Where is my draw? Yes, here, eight, correct? So I have eight in here, eight. Now let's find out this one, the intersection. Let me go there and let's change from except to intersect. And then the order doesn't matter in this case, intersect. Fifty-five, fifty-five. So I get here fifty-five. Fifty-five. If I sum up these numbers, I'm gonna get. I'm not uh, sorry. I'm gonna have. Let's see. Uh, Ninety-eight, right? No, sorry. Ninety-eight. Yeah. Ninety-eight. All right, guys. So these functions, these table manipulation functions, are very powerful. You can do a lot of calculations with this. For example, churn of customers, or, or I want to see how many customers bought this month and bought last month, or how many customers bought this month and did not, but did not buy last month, and so on. Okay? I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next mission. And this is going to be the last video from 2020. But don't forget that in January 4th, we're going to repeat Power BI Week. So if you missed the first edition of Power BI Week, don't forget that in January 4th, we're going to repeat this event. Okay? I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you in 2021.